Hey, what's up everybody? Justin Meyer is back here with another video for y'all. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at my updated pedal board here and uh, made a few tweaks here recently and I'm just so excited about this, man. It just sounds so amazing. And uh, I've been doing uh, more studio work here in Nashville and um, I've honestly been wanting to do this for a long time with this pedal board, but um, just kind of been putting it off and putting it off, but I finally did it this week and I'm so excited to uh, share this with y'all. So before I go on with this video, Please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, and drop a comment down below with what you guys think. And also, I'm so pleased to announce that I'm offering one-on-one -on -one Zoom lessons. I'm teaching people around the world. These lessons are just amazing. It's all shot on a 4K definition camera, totally pro audio, SM7B vocal mic, and uh, the guitar is completely direct. Just sounds amazing. And what's really cool is at the end of these lessons, you get a recorded copy of the actual lesson itself. So you could always refer back to it. And I really teach a lot of concepts in these lessons. So it's really nice to be able to go back and reference it. So it truly is the lesson that keeps teaching. So if you're interested in this, hit me up at jkm4231 at gmail.com. And if you'd like to support the channel in another way, I have a Venmo and PayPal tip jar. Any and all support is really appreciated. Thank you all. Now on with the video here. So here is my tried and true pedal board. I've had this thing for years. Um, it just works really, really well, man. It just sounds amazing. I mean, there is nothing else that I need pedal wise. I mean, there's so many pedals out there nowadays. It's just insane. Um, it, it's just crazy. It's mind blowing how many pedals there are. But to me, this is just what works, man. I, if you can't make this work, I just don't know what to tell you. I mean, this is all you need. This is as big of a pedal board that I would really want to go for live gigs, especially. Um, but, you know, I could understand maybe if you have like an all analog pedal board where 
you know, you really want all of the analog stuff, like an 80s Boss VB2 or something like this, and, you know, each individual pedal for each effect, then maybe you want to go a little bit bigger for the studio or something. But for live gigs and for studio, man, this is it for me for right now. Um, never say never, I guess. Uh, maybe I, I will go that route and maybe we'll, uh, you know, uh, get a full on all analog pedal board. But this just really works for me. So just to start off here with the first pedal, we have the Peterson Strobo Stomp Tuner, best tuner in the market, in my opinion. So the guitar plugs up into there. Now, before what I had was the input was already plugged up into this uh, tuner and it was going into the interface that's on the side there. So you can see all those connections there that are going into the side of the pedal board. Well, that's a little box that I have there below the pedal board that has two stereo outs, so a left and right, so I could run two amps and a nine volt DC output that I could power up more pedals if I wanted to run outside the pedal board. And now a post insert now you may say justin what the hell is a post insert well what it is is it's basically an insert that you can run two patch cables there you see i have plugged up there i have a volume pedal which is the ernie ball volume pedal in my opinion these are the best volume pedals on the market the sweep on these just feel amazing and it's so natural and so smooth there's just nothing better. I know there's some other volume pedals out there, but in my opinion, the Ernie Ball volume pedal is the one to get. It's the best one, absolutely hands down, without question. So I'm plugged up there to the send and return. So send being the input, the return being the output. And now this volume pedal is plugged up as if it were right after the Boss GE7. So what is so cool about this is now my volume pedal is post drive section here. So what's really nice about this is that I can keep the gain exactly the same amount of gain, but all I'm affecting is just the overall volume of it. So what I tried to do the other day on my video was I tried to swell in the intro to start off real quiet, but, um, and then, you know, crescendo louder, but I guess YouTube has a compressor and, uh, I didn't actually know that with the, uh, compressor on here, but, um, just is what it is, it just kind of evened out everything, um, so you weren't able to really see or hear the uh, swell. But anyways, this volume pedal is post-drive here, so I've just got this Ram Nobles and then this King of Tone here, and um, the volume pedal is technically post the Boss GE7 there. So it's just affecting the overall volume of it and not the actual gain. So that's cool there, but just to run down quickly the whole rest of the pedal board, now I have this Ross compressor here, which is from the 70s, and I honestly thought about selling this thing, but I was like, man, I gotta get this thing on my pedal board. So ended up putting this on there. And man, this thing just sounds so amazing. It's just wonderful. It's the original compressor that all of the compressors are modeled after. They all try to do what this thing does, but none of them come close in my opinion. Sounds great. I mainly use this whenever I'm playing clean or with my fingers um, for that like chicken picking kind of thing. Um, it just really helps kind of bring out um, my playing just as far as like playing with your fingers it just evens out everything just sounds better so that's really how i use that then i have a 70s strip logo mxr phase 90 coming out of there into the rc boost the version one which is before the ram nobles i just use that as a little bit of a gain boost and just cut out some of the low end and then so the ram nobles there and then out of there into the analog man king of tone i like to have two different gain stages on my pedal board so um, I like to have one that's a lower gain and a certain EQ that I use about 90% of the time. But then I like to have something that's a little bit higher gain with more mid-range and a, just a different take, a different amount of gain, just a di totally different drive. So that's why I, normally on pedal boards, I like to have two gain stages. But then after that, I have the Boss GE7, which I just boost for solos just to add a little bit of mid-range, come out of there into the post insert on the uh, interface here. So now in this case, the volume pedal I have running into it, but I could run um, any effect I want that would be post-drive, you know, a modulation effect. I mean, literally, you name it, I, I could put it in that insert, which is really nice. So anyways, got that. Then come back from the insert into the Strymon Flint for reverb and trem. Sounds great. Go stereo out of there into the JHV3 modded M9. So that is the entire pedal board. Um, the main reason why I like the M9 so much, just a quick note on this pedal, is just because I like that it's so versatile. You can always reprogram this thing to do whatever you want. 
I mean, any kind of delay or modulation or any kind of weird effect you may be going for even, um, for gigs, for studio, for anything. I mean, you could really reprogram this thing to do whatever you want. So it's just really versatile and uh, just a really wonderful pedal there. So that's the entire pedal board there. This is a Pedal Train Classic 1 dimension here, which is like 22 inches wide by 12 and a half, if I remember correct. Um, so not too big of a footprint. And, but man, this pedal board just really packs a punch. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any questions, feel free to, uh, you know, drop it down below in the comment section. Or, um, you know, if you want to send me an email, jkm4231 at gmail.com. Be happy to help you out. Um, and guys, if you are brand new here, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and drop a comment down below with what you guys think. And also check out my one-on-one -on -one Zoom lessons, folks. I'm teaching people around the world, and these lessons are just amazing. The platform works so well. It's incredible. So thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. We'll see you all next time. Take care.